Hi, thanks for checking out this Shifting Schools video on how you can use Chat GPT to save yourself a little bit of time. In this video, we are going to talk about ways that you can use Chat GPT to help structure some outlines, create some templates for students who have some planning to do, who have some creative writing to do, who might have some storyboarding to do. And just a reminder for more suggestions like this one, you can check out our free guide that has seven suggestions. You can check out the free guide by heading over to the link in the video description or by heading over to shiftingschools.com. Ready to check out our quick suggestion? So I've logged into ChatGPT and I'm still polite. I'm saying, please, please give me an outline for a storyboard template that sets up a sixth grade student to write a plan for a creative writing story. Let's see what ChatGPT gives me. And again, I am well aware that as ChatGPT um, gives me this response, I'm looking for ways that I can tweak and refine what it gives me back. So in terms of giving me um, a starting point, again, I can go back and I can update that template. That's not bad, but I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, can you rewrite the template in table format? Maybe that's the format that my students are most familiar working with. And here, it's gonna reformat that for me. So in terms of getting a little bit of my workload taken care of, even the reformatting is really helpful. I could continue to ask ChatGPT to help me out to create a to-do list based on this table or to give me a list of key vocabulary words that exist here. If you found that suggestion useful, you might want to check out the rest of our full free guide or head on over to shiftingschools.com to see other ways we can support you in thinking critically about tools like chat gpt in the classroom in the school and beyond thanks for watching